Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be setting up a simple cooldown system. So this cooldown system is pretty much going to stop the player using their abilities if they have just used it within the last few seconds. So if we take a quick look at the heads up display on my screen here, if we move over to the ability, what we're going to be doing is setting up a little uh, counter for the cooldown system. So if they use it once, the counter will then start, it will go down to from um, 5 Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. It will only work again the ability if the counter is down to zero, and it's just going to give the player. Um, you know, it's just going to stop them just using their ability over and over again. Now, we have got the fuel system in place as well, so they can only use it if they have enough fuel. We're going to be keeping all of the fuel stuff exactly how it is, and we're just going to be adding on this cooldown system as an addition to what we've got already. So if you go ahead and, uh, and open up your side scroller project, and then the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to add on the text onto the heads up display so that we can then link it up to all of our code later on. So open up your heads up display widget blueprint give it a couple of seconds to load and once that is done all we're going to do is quickly drag in a piece of text just a simple little text block and then from here we're just going to text uh, change the text down to zero and then we're just going to scale this a little bit once we've scaled it we want to get it in position here with our speed boots now in today's video i am only going to show you how to add this this cooldown system onto the speed boot system it's going to be exactly the same for all of the other abilities so you can just add that on i'm not just going to sit here and go over it one by one by one with each ability so let's just go ahead and drag this over and into our little box here that looks quite good to me now you guys can go ahead and scale this differently you can also even go as far as to change the opacity of the ability if the cooldown is not you know 100% ready um, but you know that's going to be for another video for today we're just going to be working on this simple little counter once we've got this little counter set up here that's all good we're going to go ahead and compile and we are going to close this get rid of it so the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to set up the cooldown system inside of our ability blueprints all of this is inside of a side scroller character so go ahead and open that up and we're going to see if we can add it on so go into the event graph and before we do any more blueprints there is two variables that we need to find we need to add so the first one add a new variable making sure this is a boolean so it's going to be true and false and we are just going to be naming this um, speed countdown and then there's two ways you can do it so really we only do need one variable ignore what I just said before um, but what we're going to be doing is we are going to have an integer as this speed countdown once we've done that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running some conditioning to check whether or not the speed call, uh, countdown is set to zero. If it isn't, you know, don't do the ability. If it is, continue on with the ability. So by default, if we compile this, we're going to make sure the default value is set to zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our speed boost ability, which is this top one here. If you haven't got it, looking exactly the same as mine just go ahead and find it if you read some of your stuff you should be able to figure it out because you can see here I've got max speed uh, we're just changing that's so why I know this is a speed boost so what we're going to do is before all of this straight out of the input we need to drag out another branch node and what this branch node is going to do is it's just going to check whether or not this speed countdown integer is zero and if it's not don't run it so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this out condition and then we're going to type in integer and what we're looking for is equal to so equal to integer so what we're going to do is drag in speed countdown now get a reference to that and leave the second one to zero so what this is going to do is check to see whether or not the countdown value is set to zero if it is set to zero it's going to return true and then it's going to fire off the ability if it's false it's not going to do anything and it's not going to fire off your ability for you so what we're going to do is if we go ahead and compile this press play and if we go ahead and try use the speed boost it should work because by default the value should set be set to zero so if we press one for the speed boost that's working and we are going super fast however if i was to go ahead and press this again it's still allowing me to do it. So we need to set up a system whereby it's going to change the value for the speed countdown once we've actually fired off that ability. So what we're going to do is go and go ahead and open up our side scroller character again. And what we've got to do is we've actually got to look through some of our code. What we don't want to do 
is we don't want to have it after this little delay here where it's waiting five seconds. We want it to start counting down as soon as the player has used that ability. They don't want to wait for it to come back or anything like that. Now, we have actually got a duration of five seconds here. So what we're going to have to do... <coughs> So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to move all of this stuff away. And and then what we're going to have to do from here is we're going to have to do a little bit of magic. So the cooldown the way we're going to get we're going to do it is we're going to get rid of this duration of 5 and we're just going to go counting down from 5 4 3 2 1. Once it has done that it's going to set it back down to the normal speed. So what we're going to do is get rid of this little duration uh, delay. After this, what we're going to do is we are going to set the speed countdown and we're just going to drag it out here and we are going to set the speed countdown value to integer, uh, sorry, we're going to set this to 5. That's going to be our maximum number. Once we've done that, what we're going to be doing is pretty much just adding in a bunch of delays, delay of 1 second, not 12, and then from there we are going to set it down to 4. And you can probably see exactly what we're doing here. After every second, it's just going to remove it down one by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this stuff over a little bit more over here. Now, you could do this with a do while loop, um, but I'm just trying to explain it in the simplest way um, that makes sense to you. So what we're going to do from here, once again, another little delay. And delay duration is going to be one second. From here, once again, set speed countdown. Control C, Control V to copy and paste it, and we're going to set this down to three. I'm just going to copy and paste these a couple of times. So I'm just going to grab all of these, move them over. I need a little bit more space. So this is going to be two. This is going to be one, and then I'm going to need one more of these. I think so. I'm going to make myself a little bit more space. So one more of these, and this one is going to be back down to zero. So let's go ahead and look, hook this up. So de delay, control C to copy and paste it. We're just going to join it up in here one more time and another time over here as well. So we just hook this up just like this. Let's join all of these little links here. And then this one should go into here. If this isn't making sense to you at the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to go through this in a second and just try and help you understand. So two one and then zero and that's perfect so that will be changing our value for us and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and compile this and what we're also going to do now is we're going to actually link this speed countdown to our heads up display so we can actually see exactly how many seconds we've got left of that so if we go ahead and compile this and if we close it go into our heads up display grab that little text and what we're going to be doing is creating a binding to link the text value to the tech, uh, the variable value. So create a binding on here for the text and what we've got to do is make sure this is linked to only that one variable for speed countdown. So because it's in the side scroller character we've got to cast to side scroller character so we can actually reference those variables. Object wildcard is simply going to be get player character. And then from there, as side scroller character, what we need to do is just simply get a reference to speed, countdown, and that's just going to give us a number value. We're going to put it in there, and that should show it just exactly how we want it. So compile, press play. So if we now go ahead and use this ability, so if we press, uh, was it one? It's counting down five, four, three, two, one, and it's perfect. And if you notice, if you go ahead and press play, after we run over this, if we press it the first time, we can use it once. But if I press it a couple of times while it's still cooling down, it's not going to work for you. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print a little string just so that you can see the cooldown is working and it's in place. So I'm going to go back to the beginning for my ability and we're just going to put the print string into this false value for here where it says the player speed countdown is above zero basically. And we're just going to simply type in here. Um, cool down active if we press compile close it up press play now if we run over it press one it's gonna start counting it down 
press it again, cooldown active, I can't use it again, and we've got the text in the top left hand corner. That is a simple cooldown system for you guys. I hope you guys can go ahead and implement it into some of the other, other abilities. If you do have any trouble with it, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and replicate it for the other abilities for you. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.